Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be adding more RAM ball mounts. Um, these are the base mounts that actually mount to the uh, triple tree clamp, the top of your handlebars. So on my bike, I have currently two RAM mounts, one here and then one right here holding in the uh, Hondo Garage Perfect Squeeze and the Moto Power Puck. I wanna eliminate both these actually and just use uh, the triple tree clamps. So let's go ahead and get our Allen wrenches. This is incredibly common that that falls down. And I believe is their medium strength Loctite. Looks like Porter's coming down to visit. Now I will link to this below by the way. So here's your actual ball itself. Come on. Uh, what you're given is you're given three different bolts with different thread sizes. I believe they're all slightly different lengths. Let's try the uh, shortest one first. So what ended up working best here is actually the shortest one of the bunch. And uh, I probably over tightened it actually, so I'll pull back that a little bit. Let's go and remove these guys off there. All right, now let's put this other one in. All right. Our second bag. And you can already tell how cleaned up this makes the, um, the whole thing look versus having the two uh, mounts on the handlebars. Also, the handlebars themselves get scratched up on the RAM mounts. They want to be scratched up here, actually. So it's a really nice, clean way to get uh, the RAM balls on your bike without um, without being very deconstructive. Is that we now have two RAM mounts. Let's uh, give that a shot. Yeah, there you go. That's much nicer. Look at that. This is so much better. Having just the two Ram balls there. Look at that. So uh, obviously you could do four if you wanted to. Um, they're in there pretty tight. It's the same size, um, Allen, as the, um, the included ones from Rocks. So no issues there. It just makes things cleaner. You don't have any uh, more brackets hanging off of your handlebars right there. Uh, of course, it's as clean as an Atom handlebar could be, knowing me. But I'm happy with this. I really am. I should have done this a long time ago. And in fact, these Ram balls are like 20 bucks each, I think, um, as opposed to like 30 bucks each for the handlebar mount. So this is a you know huge savings um, as well. So. I'll be able to put the uh, cell phone on one side and the uh, Garmin inReach on the other side, and it's going to be fantastic. Now, one thing I will add, though, is that um, you need to account for these being moved in. So before I had my mounts over here, that means that the inReach was coming straight up, which means I could see my Speedo, no, no problem. With this new setup, it's coming straight up, so you'll need to actually add another 3-inch um, arm, RAM arm, going left. So you can still maintain the old positioning so you can still see your speedometer and your GPS. But um, but by mounting them up here, it's out of the way of your tank bag. And also by mounting them up here, you don't have any uh, extra crap here, but then you're moving this over. So if you're just going solo with nothing, we're just going naked, you've got two balls 
And then if you uh, are going on a tour, you've got your cell phone and your Garmin inReach here, and you've got a nice little, basically a nice little console for uh, for touring or iron butt rallies, which is um, uh, connectivity, um, emergency tracking, navigation, and then your normal trip computer here. So um, I'm very happy with this. I'm glad it worked out. I'll link to them below. Thank you for watching. And thank you to uh, Martin uh, for, for uh, turning me on to these. I didn't know that you could actually put these on the GS and uh, he sent me the link and it's a perfect fit. So thanks Martin. All right guys, rock on, ride safe.